Hello there, everybody, and welcome back. So far, we're not having much luck. We've already tried all of this. And I don't know much about that mere cellar. Hot dogs. Yeah, nothing here. Maybe at the precinct. Maybe? Well, maybe Edgeworth knows something. He was there to see Gordy. Looks like Edgeworth is in questioning. Let's come back later. Guess so. Alright, so that's a bust. Criminal Affairs! Hey there, pal. What's up? You look out of sorts. Wait, you didn't go and do something that's gonna hurt Mr. Edgeworth's case again. What do you mean, again? Whatever. Have a seat, pal. I'm here for you if you need anything. Besides money, that is. Ah, uh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> How's the investigation okay. proceeding? It's not, really. We have another meeting coming up. We're supposed to talk about Mr. Edgeworth's motive. His motive? His oh. motive? Oh, right, it's me. See, Mr. Edgeworth's <laughs> father died in the DL-6 incident. And the guy who got the lone suspect declared innocent was the victim in this case. Robert Hammond. They're saying that's why Mr. Edgeworth shot him. Edgeworth never talks about his past. I bet they'll drag that out and hit him with it in court tomorrow, too. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I gotta admit, it doesn't look good, pal. Hey, Detective Gumshoe, do you know Gordy? Monster down in Gord Lake? Not personally, no. <laughs> well, we're looking for it. Huh? Are you out of your mind? <laughs> You got time to go wild monster hunting? How about doing a little questioning for me then? Oh. Detective Gumshoe is scaring me, Nick. <laughs> I told Detective Gumshoe about the deal with Lada. Nick, try to tell him sooner next time. Eh, uh, sorry. Hmm. I see, pal. Sorry for shouting at you. Okay, I, Detective Gumshoe, will aid your search for Gordy! Huh? I'll loan you one of our newest secret weapons for finding evidence. Really? What, is it, is it gonna be a fucking metal detector or something? You can take whichever one you like. Secret uh, weapons. I mean, what do you got, like a fucking sonograph or something? The evidence fabricator, 9,000. It creates <laughs> evidence. <laughs> For whatever Hold you need. Now. Everything in due time. First, let me show them to you. These are our best and brightest. Introducing secret, rapper, secret weapon number one. Missile. Missile? He's a canine police dog, still in training. Missile. Missile. Here, boy. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, my God. <laughs> Here he is. Hey, he's cute! Oh wait, I think we actually... So, I'm remembering this solely from, um, Marvel vs. Capcom yeah. 3, but I'm pretty sure they adopt that dog. Yeah. Look, Nick, cute dog! Hell yeah. Cute dog. And this will help us... how? Look. Next, see weapon number two. A fishing pole! Here, this is my own personal pole. Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for a monster. Yeah! How are we supposed to catch a whole sea monster with a fishing pole? Never know till you try, pal! Uh, uh... Okay, this next one is the last one. No, please, I'm already overwhelmed by our choices. Psycho weapon number three! Um, oh my god! <laughs> a metal detector! Here! We're gonna pick up a bullet, aren't we? Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for something alive. Right! How are we supposed to find it with a metal detector? Hey, you never know! It might have been eating soda cans! Well, which will it be? Um... I can't make up my mind, Nick. They all seem so perfect. I... I can't make up my mind either, for the totally opposite reason. I want the dog! <laughs> oh, well, it's supposed... I want the dog! Can we borrow a missile? Sure thing, pal. Be good to him. Look! He's so cute! Doggy! Oh, 
boy. Yay! <laughs> Pretty cute with shiny eyes. Oh. Yay! To the beach with my new dog! Or maybe we should go to the detention center. What would the See dog... if I... Get a sniff of Edgeworth. Nope, oh. he's not here. To the dog right. lake! Hey, Nick. Hmm? Missile's been acting strangely. Missile? Uh, oh, oh, right. That little creature of the detectives. You don't like dogs? Hey, I love little doggies! Good boy! Good boy, Scoop! I mean, Missile! Yeah. Oh. What's wrong, Missile? Oh, shit! Yeah. Missile! Missile! Munch, 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 Whoa! Stop the thing! Cannibal! It's eating my samurai dogs! You're hiding something in there, aren't you? My samurai dogs! Wow, he ate every single one. I'm sorry! Oh, I'm sorry, Larry. Sorry! Sorry don't pay my bills, Nick! <laughs> it's going to have to this time. <laughs> I present to you... Dog! <laughs> <Missile>. <laughs> hey, Larry, look, it's Missile! Isn't he cute? Keep that butt away from me! What am I gonna tell the big boss? Is the big boss in charge of your hot dog stand? Nick, maybe this stand is a front for the Mafia money laundering scheme. Oh yeah. I think you should probably try looking a little sorry about what happened. Oh, right. <laughs> eh, my poor dogs. Okay, let's see, uh, where else can we go? Yeah, I've always showed them everything. Let's go to Lottie. Or Lottie. Uh, wait, the rental shop. Nothing. Shit. <laughs> I still think that's pretty funny. Just fucking went berserk and ate all the hot dogs. <laughs> oh, fuck. And, okay, it's the same fucking thing. Damn it. So her the dog. Present <laughs> missile. Hey, Lara! Oh, cute! Yours? He's a canine police dog. His name is Missile. Huh. Canines are the ones they use to sniff for things, right? I wonder what Gordy smells like. Hmm. I hadn't thought about that. Hmm. Okay, so I don't think we needed to use Missile. All right, well, at least we got something funny with him eating all the hot dogs. Yep. I just still think it's very weird how they freaked out on Larry, though. I, thought I sure... think he was behind the hot dog stand. Uh... <sighs> Actually... Ah, fresh air. I gotta say, freedom feels great. Behave yourself in the courtroom tomorrow, okay? <laughs> this is behaving so much more fun. It's not gonna be so much fun when Edgeworth refuses to pay your bail again. Right. I'll behave. Oh dear. Present dog. Don't start drawing me things. Oh. I have to get cracking on this case. All right, fine. Uh, it's still the same shit. Okay, so I mean, we gotta she turn might in give us a hint as to what to do. Detective Gumshoe, can we borrow one of the other things? Take back the last one, lent you. Alright. Uh, I think we need the metal detector, yeah. We're gonna find, like, a bullet casing or something. That's what we're gonna find. Hunting for monster, anything's possible. Yeah, we're gonna sweep the beach. Humble seller of hot dogs. This is actually really making me want a hot dog for some reason. 
I want a hot dog too. You know, look at this, it's a metal detector. I know what it is. Um, I'm sure that's gonna pick up on Gordy though. Unless he's been eating people's watches or spare change or something. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Do we it's actually the need the fishing pole? It, it is. Oh my god, we need the fucking... They mentioned it earlier, I didn't of think course. it actually would work. Of course. Of we course have we should have realized- Oh pool. god! Never mind. Ow. Nick! It's beeping, the mill detector found something. Sure is loud enough about it. Whatever it is, must be in those bushes. Go check it out, Maya. What do I have to check it out? I should go check it out anyway. <laughs> Nick! Aha! Uh -huh. An a wait, what is that? An O2 tank? That's an air yeah. tank. Huh? The valve looks broken. I thought it was Gordy. Maya, first of all, why would Gordy be in the bushes? And second of all, why would a metal detector react to a sea monster? I mean, we're in a lake, not a sea. <laughs> huh? <laughs> There's something wrapped around this air tank. It's the flags from Larry. Well, we might as well take it with us now that we found it. For the air compressor! It did break! That's right! Yeah. It's heavy. Air tank of dubious value. That's right! Oh, we That was the got... first bang. Oh, you know what it is? We're probably gonna need each item in a series, like, in a sequence. What? An air tank? What about it? Larry, I wanted to ask you about this tank. Say, is this air tank yours? Why would I have a thing like that? Look, see how there's a string of flags around the tank valve? It's just like the string of flags around your steel samurai there. Ugh! Must be a coincidence! There's a string of flags everywhere these days! Like elementary schools! And used car dealerships! Look, why would I need a tank anyway? To inflate, to inflate something. something. You used this to inflate that, didn't you? Uh, inflate what? What else? That big puffy steel samurai. <laughs> Zoinks! Now why would you go asking me a question like that? Looks like I hit the nail on the head. Right, right. Actually, um, see the compressor I always used was all in the fritz. So I tried using the tank to inflate it just once. And uh, it didn't go so well. As I suspected. It didn't go so well? Yeah. Do you think you could be a little more specific? C come on! Look, it's embarrassing, so I really don't want to talk about it. Tell us, tell us! Tell us how you fucked up big time. Fine! Whatever. It's like what I said, the compressor was busted. So I took the tank and tried to fill up the samurai with that. And then... Blant the first explosion. Well, bust it open and make this thing. Wait, that's Gordy. It. Oh my God, the first Steel Samurai was just Gordy. Or the, well. the Gordy was just the first Steel. Yeah. And then the tank there took off like a rocket, and it took my poor deflated Steel Samurai with it. What? Off into Gord Lake? That's why you heard a loud bang in the newspaper because it was that. And then you looked and saw. Oh my God. It sure scared me out of my gourd, that's for sure! Oh... It was this. Ex that's the guy that's so... Yep. Do you think Gory really exists? Nah! Yep, it's that. Okay. It's a hand. Yep. I think you were right, Im. So the tank the Seal Samurai were trying to fill flew away. What happened next? Well, all that happened on the 20th or so. 20th, a week ago. Now, as far as I could see, the tank went flying out into the lake. So I went out every night in a boat looking for it. I mean, Kionse gave me that steel samurai after all. And when did you find it? Just the night before last. You were out. Oh my god. You were out there. You're the witness. It flew way out there. It took me four whole days to find it. The night before last was the night of the murder! Sorry for not telling you, Nick. 
actually, I was here on the night of the murder. But you see, I went home before midnight. Him? So you didn't know what happened. <laughs> Sorry. No! It's all good. Just putting my cat. That's too bad. It's not all bad. We've solved one mystery at least. A mystery? Maybe we should go tell her. Yep, that was Gordy. Yeah, but I'd say I know exactly squat about that. It's painfully easy to know when something doesn't catch Wada's interest. Okay, oh, fine. Oh, you just need to talk to her about Gordy. Well, well, Mr. Lawyer, got all the info you need. Y'all got the scoop on Gordy for me yet? Wada, there is no such thing as Gordy. What? How can y'all be so sure? Really, Nick? I got some proof Gordy don't exist. The proof that Gordy doesn't exist. Of course I have proof. No lawyer worth his badge can make a claim without the proof to back it up. Here's the proof that Gordy doesn't exist. Take that. Tink. <laughs> you just shot at her. Take that! <laughs> just throw away there. Well, there he's air tank. What are y'all doing with an air tank? Hey. Th oh, this is Gordy. Um, excuse me? What exactly are you saying, Nick? There's a stand near here. A hot dog stand. There's a giant inflatable samurai doll there. About a week or so, an idiot who happens to be a friend of mine tried to fill it. Yay! He used his air tank, and when the valve blew, the tank flew into the lake. Apparently it made a pretty loud bang when it flew. A bang? tank, along with the still deflated samurai, fell into the lake. At the same time... Yep. A couple was taking a photograph of the lake. This photo. Wait. So you're saying that Gordy is really the steel samurai? That's quite the scoop. Yeah. That's a fine way to ruin a girl's dreams. I'm sorry, Lotta. Nah, it's okay, you win. I'll give you your info like I promised. Poor Lada. So, tell us this information you have. Promise is a promise, I guess. I heard the cops around here saying something about the witness tomorrow. They said he's a caretaker of the boat rental place up the path there. Oh! Boat rental? There's someone there? I mean, it looks so deserted. Just an old guy living all by himself. I well, should go check it out. Thanks, Lada. We will. Let's get cracking, Nick. Hold on. Something else? Yeah. The night of the murder. Our camera clicked twice, you know. Huh? Not a thousand times? Wait, so you have another photo? Well, yeah, but it's nothing in it at all, just the lake. I figured it wouldn't be much use of it, and so I kept it to myself. Oh, it might not be helpful at all, but... Here, take it. Hmm. At 11.50. Bye now, y'all take care. Oh. Oh, I can't even look at it. Okay. Time for me to pack up and leave. Well, that sucks. Poor Lana. It's all Larry's fault. The legend still lives on, I guess. The legend? Yeah, the legend of Larry, familiar to all who know him for any length of time. When something smells, it's usually the butts. <laughs> well, hmm. Someone should whip that butts into shape. You saying you want to smack that ass? Hi. We're not here to talk to you, Can but I just aha. Hey Nick. This is the bow shop a lot was talking about. You're right. Doesn't seem to be anyone around at all. Well, let's go check it out anyway. 
Aha! Uh -huh. Can we actually go in now? Oh. Really? Alright, well that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you later. Adios.